If you've ever had to repossess a car while under the influence of strong hallucinogens, then you'd really vibe with the bonkers 1984 film Repo Man. Not to be confused with the Jude Law action film Repo Men from 2010. Yeah! That's right, Einstein. A dark comedy from cult director Alex Cox, Repo Man is about a young man named Otto tasked with finding a Chevy Malibu. But that doesn't even begin to describe the manic craziness of this 80s gem. It's all part of a cosmic unconsciousness. And here's some exciting news for the 12 of you that know what I'm talking about here. The film is finally, finally getting a sequel. Titled Repo Man 2, The Wages of Beer. Get it? Like Wages of Fear? But with beer? The sequel will be directed by Cox, with actor Kiowa Gordon taking over for Emilio Estevez, who at the time of the film's original release was a real heartthrob. It has been four decades since the original release of Repo Man, making this sequel a big surprise. Cult hits don't usually get a legacy sequel after all. Repo Man didn't exactly repossess the box office upon its initial release, but received widespread acclaim. In the 40 years since, Repo Man has become even more beloved and now maintains the status as a cult classic, widely considered one of the best films to come out of the 1980s. Alex Cox explained their hopes for the sequel to Variety, saying, quote, We wish to deliver an enthralling mix of punk energy, existential comedy, and unconventional storytelling, navigating the absurd and chaotic world of Repo Man into a new age of nuclear brinkmanship and driverless cars. The cloud of the original Repo Man and its cast makes it a tough act to follow, but with Cox at the wheel once again, it makes the sequel more promising. No word yet if and when we'll be getting a sequel to 2010's Repo Man, but we're not holding our breath. 